Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to an all new week of Guitar of the Day. Yes, we're back again. <laughs> they haven't canceled us yet. Because it's on our channel, man. It's like cable access. Um, we got this week's winner. We just pulled it uh, for the contest to give away for the shirt. Uh, it goes to Kathy Mraz in Anaheim, California. Congratulations, Kathy. You win this week's uh, giveaway contest. Woo! Thank you all for playing, but Kathy's the big winner. Well done. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my best friends in the world, my friend Brad Ryan, who I've known since I was three years old. Him and his wife Kelly uh, had their first son, Patrick, over the weekend. Very healthy baby boy. Uh, very uh, stoked about that. And another one to the gang. Uh, we always like to hear that. So, uh, we're back. We've had a magnificent run of Telecasters over the past few months. But unfortunately, it's come to an end. But fortunately for you, I've got rad stuff to fill in. You're gonna like it. It's Telly Tuesday, but you're gonna dig it. <laughs> this is from 1970. This is an original Gibson Les Paul custom black beauty. Original ebony black finish gold parts. Multiply binding, ebony board. Really, really clean. Yes. Look at the color of the binding. Look at how it's yellowed out. God, you can't, you can't fake it. Well, some people can. I love this one. Can you see it? Oh, look how clean it parts are. It's, just, it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this is the third year back. Um, they bring back the Les Pauls in this body shape that we know Les Pauls as, not the Les Paul SGs like we did on Saturday. But we bring back the Les Pauls in 68. They did two guitars, the gold top with P90s, kind of like what would be like a 56 reissue. Uh, and then they did the Black Beauty, but instead of with the three pickups, they just did it uh, as a two pickup model. So that's gonna go 68, 69, this is 70, the third year, but there's some big changes in 1970. First of which, and most noticeable, is the Volute, which gets added here, this little bump at the back of the headstock. Put it sideways more a little bit. Uh, okay, kind of get it right a here. little bit. <laughs> this hump, this do the humpty hump, do the humpty hump, that's called a volute. Um, that was added to kind of strengthen the, the most stressful joint right here at the headstock where they break. Uh, they added that in 1970. Also the addition of the Made in USA stamp. Those are the two things you'll start to see in 1970. Why are these a little bit less money though than the 68s and 69s? Well, there's a few other things that changed as well. First off, you can see, I don't know, again it's black, but there is a big line that goes right through the center all the way around the outside of this body. It's cause it's, it. That's because it's a two-piece body. So this is what, when you hear people talk about the pancake body or the sandwich body, or whatever, that's what we were talking about. Two pieces of mahogany sandwiched together to make the thickness of this body. It's not one piece of mahogany. Um, and then also, we have a three-piece neck. Easiest to see uh, on the back of the headstock. You can kind of see the lines coming down. Those are the seams. And those kind of have a center strip going down and then we have another piece on either one of the sides. So we have a three-piece neck, we have a two-piece body. The top is a little bit hard to tell. Um, I can't see them, they don't jump out as easy. So I'm not 100% sure on what the top is. But the other thing on these, we have the multiply, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white binding going around the outside as well as around the headstock. We have the inlaid uh, in Mother of Pearl diamond on the headstock as well as the inlaid Gibson logo. This one's got the waffle back, um, original gold waffle back tuners. And then of course ebony board with the big mother of pearl. But look at those frets, the fretless wonder frets. That's original. That's how Les liked them. That's how the 50s ones are too. Original fretless wonder frets. Two unbucking pickups and witch hat knobs. Witch hat? The witch hat. Which witch? The witch. Which. Quill Wheaton eating Wheat Thins and Cool Whip <laughs> with the Witch Hats. That's Tuesday. It's not a telly, but it's pretty sweet. Let's go to the couch, plug it in, see what it can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1970 Gibson Les Paul Black Beauty, original ebony black finish. We're going through uh, 64 custom deluxe reverb from Fender today. All the EQs at noon, just a little bit of reverb. Volumes at noon as well. Whole amps at noon, except for the reverb, which is just a little bit, but I think we already talked about that. <laughs> Let's start up on the neck pickup. All by itself. Let's see what we got going on down there.
going to the middle position. We got a combination of both of those humbuckers working together. Let's see what we got down there. pickup wide freaking open all by itself we're gonna gain up the amp a little bit turn it up to about six and a half bridge pickup all by itself <laughs> There it is, Gibson Les Paul Custom Black Beauty Original Ebony Black Finish. Gold parts, fretless wonder frets on the ebony fingerboard, original hard shell case. It's not a telly, but Tuesday is done. There's one down. Four more episodes of Guitar of the Week coming at you. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And please keep uh, tagging us in all your guys' videos. You guys have been coming up with some cool stuff. There's been some pretty cool submissions. Hashtag Norman's Rare Guitars repost. And we'll keep reposting your guys' videos on Sundays and Mondays. We'll see you guys back here for another episode of Guitar of the Day tomorrow. Till then, peace. Bye. Black beauty.